Good afternoon and welcome to St. Vincent's Chapel for the third festival choral evensong of this year. We are delighted to have with us the chapter house singers under the direction of Les Shanklin, with the organ played by David Gerard and Oliver Brewer Lennon as cantor. There will be a retiring collection for the work of St. Vincent's. Hymn number 245. May the almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon, absolution, and remission of all your sins, time for true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
The first lesson is taken from the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 11, beginning at the first verse. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, hear the words of this covenant and speak to the people of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. You shall say to them, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, cursed be anyone who does not heed the words of this covenant which I commanded you to your ancestors when I brought them out of the land of Egypt from the iron smelter, saying, listen to my voice and do all that I command you. So shall you be my people and I will be your God that I may perform the oath that I swore to your ancestors to give them a land flowing with milk and honey as to this day. Then answered he, so be it, Lord. And the Lord said to me, proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah, in the streets of Jerusalem, Hear the words of this covenant and do them. For I solemnly warned your ancestors when I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, warning them persistently even to this day, saying, Obey my voice. Yet they did not obey or incline their ear. But everyone walked in the stubbornness of an evil will, so I brought upon them all the words of this covenant, which I commanded them to do, but they did not. Here ends the first lesson.
The second lesson is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 15, beginning at the first verse. Now all the tax collectors and sinners were coming near to listen to him, and the Pharisees and the scribes were grumbling and saying, this fellow welcomes sinners and eats with them. So he told them this parable. Which one of you, having an hundred sheep and losing one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one that is lost until he finds it? When he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders and rejoices. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and his neighbors saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. Just so, I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who need no repentance. Or what woman, having ten silver coins, if she loses one of them, does not light a lamp and sweep the house and search carefully until she finds it. And when she has found it, she calls together her friends and neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the coin that I had lost. Just so, I tell you, there is more joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Here ends the second lesson.
O Lord, support us all the day long of this troublous life, until the shades lengthen, the evening cometh, the busy world is hushed, the fever of life is over, and our work done. Then, Lord, in thy mercy, grant us safe lodging, a holy rest, and peace at the last, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Almighty and merciful God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless and keep you now and always. Amen. Amen. Hymn number 427. <laughs> 